is up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today as you guys can tell by today's video title today we're doing yet another ego shoe haul i've done one of these videos where i tried out ego shoes for the very first time a couple of months back and you guys really enjoyed it if you guys don't know what ego is it's basically a shoe company that also does clothing now i think but basically they do super trendy kind of footwear and i think they collaborated with molly may in the past so i feel like they're a really trendy brand so recently i went on their website and i found so many cute pairs of shoes as well as a few wacky ones in there so I just needed to get them. If you guys haven't seen my previous ego shoe haul I'll link it in the eye as well as the description so make sure you guys check it out after this video. But if you guys want to see what kind of shoes I picked up from ego this time then without further ado let's get on into the video. Alright guys before we jump straight into the video I just quickly wanted to mention that my previous video I feel like a lot of you guys hadn't seen it. It was actually a super special video where I actually got to announce my new collaboration with Revolution. This is my fourth collection with them now and honestly I feel so blessed and so grateful to be able to carry on working with them like this. In case you guys missed that video I'll link it in the eyes so and make sure you guys check it out but basically in this new collection we have four new products. Everything is super cute, super pink and cherry blossom themed which is honestly my favorite. I am wearing the whole collection on my face right now and I'm literally obsessed with it. Obviously if you guys want more detail about this whole collection watch that video but basically in this collection we have an eyeshadow palette which I actually illustrated the front cover of. We then also have a liquid blush duo which looks like this. Next up we have the liquid highlighter duo which I'm wearing right now and I'm obsessed. And then lastly we have a lip kit which has a lip liner as well as a lip gloss in it so it's a little bit different than some other lip kits you may see on the market. The whole collection is available to purchase right now on revolutionbeauty.com worldwide so make sure you guys check out the link in my description. But now it's time to move on to the shoes. Oh my gosh this is so heavy. They literally chucked everything in this one bag and it weighs a ton. Okay, so the very first pair of shoes that we're gonna be trying out is a little bit crazy, I think anyway. It is this pair of shoes right here. This retails for $29.99, which I feel like isn't that much, especially because of how much shoe you actually get. It is such a massive platform. I have no idea if this is gonna be a comfortable shoe to wear, but I just thought I would try it out. So I have it right here. Okay, let's open it up together. <gasps> These are cute. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Are these cute or are these ugly? I actually can't tell. Oh my God. Wow, I mean, these will definitely make a statement, that's for sure. I feel like the color scheme totally matches my whole aesthetic today, especially with my pink makeup. This makes me think of one of those like chunky platform boots, but it's a sandal instead. Things like this are very on trend right now, especially in the world of Instagram, but whether people would actually wear these on a day to day, I have no clue. I mean, they look really funky. I feel like it will give you so much height, but without feeling like you're wearing heels, because obviously the platform is quite wide and high here already. So realistically, the height isn't really the whole platform. It's more like this much. So I feel like that's a bit more manageable. I absolutely love this like cut out front. It literally looks so cool and so unique. Okay, so these are what the shoes look like on. They're so unique and so cool. The shoes are definitely very, very comfortable, especially for the height that they are. So I am giving these a big thumbs up. Okay, now moving on to the next pair of shoes. We have a slightly smaller pair here. This is the pair that we're gonna be trying out next. I just love the shoe. It's very like sculptural. It's very different. It almost looks like a piece of artwork I've got to say I have never seen a shoe this shape and that's why I really like ego shoes They're just doing so much that's outside of the box lately. Oh My god, look at these. Are we are we seeing this this little platform looks like a freaking skateboarding ramp I just think this shoe is so different and so unique I don't know how this would actually be to walk in though. So this shoe was $24.99 I feel like is a decent price to pay for a nice pair of heels. They basically just lace up. You can lace them up however you like. And then they have a really thin strap on the front, which I feel like looks so nice on your foot. It looks very dainty. I do have to say though, this shoe looks very, very small. Oh no. They sent me a size three. What? I'm never gonna fit in this. Oh no, on my order it says size three. I must have pressed size three by accident. Okay, I'm gonna try and squeeze my foot into these, but I don't think they're gonna fit. And I don't think they had any more sizes left. So <laughs> 
I guess we'll see. Okay, I have no idea how, but I managed to squeeze my foot in. I mean, this definitely is way too small for me, but at least you guys can see what it would look like if I did get it in my size. I think this shoe is so stunning. It is definitely very, very unique, and I just love the way this looks, especially for summer. This kind of color is perfect, so I am really, really liking this. I hope that they can get this in my size because I am definitely gonna repurchase. Okay, moving on to the next pair of shoes. We have this right here, which I'm pretty sure is the black pair of shoes. I think this is the only black pair of shoes I got. I'm not really much of a black shoe wearer, but when I saw these, I just knew I had to try them. Whoa. I'm sorry, but are we seeing this pair of shoes? This is everything. I feel like this is very out of character for me. I don't wear things like this very often, but I mean, I can definitely appreciate a good ass shoe when I see one. As you guys can see, it's like a triangular heel, which I think is very cool, very unique. It's got like a little zipper effect on the side. It's got like this belt looking thing on the strap. I just love everything about this shoe. I think they had this in various different colors, but I really wanted to get it in the black. It just looks very edgy. I also really like how the heel and the sole is that like glossy black kind of color compared to this matte black faux leather Okay, so this is what the shoe looks like I have to say because the heel is very like triangular and chunky It's a very stable shoe considering how tall it is. It's very very comfortable on I don't feel like my foot would sweat too much in this I just love everything about this like I said, it's a very different pair of shoes for me I would not really wear this kind of thing for like every day. That's for sure. I just love Love the design. Whoever came up with this is literally a shoe genius. So I'm obsessed. So that's the black pair. I honestly can't get over this. I'm really, really liking this pair of shoes. And if they had this in white, oh my God, it'd be game over. Now moving on to the next pair of shoes. I am so excited about this next pair. I genuinely don't think you guys are ready. This is what the box looks like. And it is this pair right here. I actually do have a video planned that is involving a pair of shoes just like this that I actually got from AliExpress and I haven't gotten around to filming it yet. So when I saw this exact pair on like a British website, I was just so shocked because I never thought that I would see this in the UK. As you can see, it's basically trousers attached to boots. It's like all in one. It's very Kim K, it's very Balenciaga. I just love this so much. I think it's so weird. So I am definitely very excited about trying this out. So they actually had this pair of shoes, or should I say trousers? It's kind of both in two different colors. They had it in pink and in black now I had to go for the pink. It wasn't a hard choice to make. Now compared to all their other shoes on Ego, this pair was pretty expensive. It was $64.99, but I guess it's because it literally has inbuilt trousers with it. So you're kind of getting a double whammy here. You're getting the trousers, but you're also getting a pair of shoes. Another thing that I'm really concerned about is how do they correlate shoe size to waist size? They only give you an option for like what your shoe size is because obviously it's still a pair of shoes. So I got my size five, which is what I I'm normally in a pair of shoes, but I have no idea how these trousers are gonna fit, whether they're gonna fit me right, whether they're gonna be too tight. I guess we'll see. I am just very excited to try these on, so let's do it. All right, so Power Rangers have called and they want their shoes back. I genuinely don't know how to feel about these. They are actually pretty comfortable on. What are we thinking about these shoes? These are so freaking weird. I genuinely feel like these would be so great to cosplay as a Power Ranger. Ranger. Like you've pretty much got half of the outfit sorted. Okay, so first things first, the shoes were so difficult to put on. I had to put them on sitting down on the ground and this part here at the back kept curling in. So the second I put my foot through, I couldn't like get it to sit properly on my foot and it was just making it so difficult. But once I got that sorted, I then pulled up the rest of the leggings and I have to say they are a little bit tight. They do fit, but they are just very, very tight fitting. Like they literally feel like my second skin. I had to do a little bit of this like jumping around the room to try and get them in. If you've ever put on a skinny pair of jeans, you'll know exactly what I mean. But now that I've got them on, they actually feel really, really good on. The leggings are so nice and smooth to the touch. They literally just feel like my second skin. I feel very supported. And because they're literally one piece with the shoes, the shoes don't feel like they're not stable or anything like that. The one downside that I have about these is that as soon as I put them on, on the actual like shoe area, I noticed that the fabric is very like 
not forgiving. I'm just wearing some like short socks and you can really see that like edge of where the sock is. And it's the same with my underwear. So if you actually got these, you would definitely have to wear seamless underwear and potentially like little footlit socks. Otherwise it kind of just ruins the whole vibe. Like you can literally see my underwear lines all through it. But these are so stinking cool. I don't know where I would wear a pair of shoes like this. They're so extra, but I would love to film a video wearing these for like a whole day to see what it's like and see if they're actually comfortable. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I think these are so weird, but they're very comfortable. So I'm actually going to give these like a nine out of 10, even though I would probably never wear them in a real life situation. Now moving on to the next pair of shoes, we have something that's a little bit more like wearable that I could actually see people wearing outside. It is this pair right here. It's like this really gorgeous wedge kind of style shoe. It's got this super like nice natural woven kind of texture and it's just a white strappy kind of wedge which I feel like is so appropriate for like summer holidays going away. As you guys can see it's still a pretty like high heel. It's a very chunky tall wedge so I have no idea how this is gonna feel on and whether it will be comfortable and stable. I just really love the look of this on the website and as you guys can see it's once again got super like dainty straps. It's got one there, one there and then you can lace it up however you like. This pair was once again $29.99 and I feel like we have a recurring theme of like a super chunky sole. I don't know why, I just really like a chunky shoe lately so that's why I got these. I guess let's try them on. Okay, so these are what these look like on. I love this. Once again, I really love that like super tapered front of the shoe. It's just such an interesting shape. It's not like your typical wedge. It's actually very, very comfortable. Like the incline of your foot is not that much so it doesn't really feel like like it's super tall. And for summer, these would be absolutely amazing to take on holiday with you. So I am really, really liking these, giving these a 10 out of 10 once again. Now next up, we have something a little bit different. We have this pair of shoes right here. They literally look like a glorified pair of slippers that you would wear at home, but it's got a heel. I'm always so intrigued by shoes that are fuzzy. I mean, I've tried my fair share of fuzzy shoes on this channel, as you guys probably already know. But this one really caught my eye because it literally looks like a slipper, like something that I would just wear at home. It's even got the fuzzy material on the heel. All I can think about is one step in the puddle and they're completely ruined. But I mean, they're not really the type of shoe that you would wear in like bad weather. They're more for like, again, going on holiday, being in a sunny, dry country. I'm also wondering whether my foot would get sweaty in this or whether the fabric would absorb the sweat, which is kind of gross. These were actually a little bit more affordable. They were $19.99 and they had this in various different colors. I just really wanted to try the blue. So this is what they look like on. I am really, really liking the look of them. They're very comfortable, actually. The heel is more of like a kitten heel. It's not really too high, so it feels pretty comfortable and stable to walk in. I don't know if I would actually wear these out. I feel like I would just look like I'm wearing slippers, but I do really, really like the look of them. Let me know what you guys think of this pair. Do you think they're ridiculous or would you wear them out? With that being said, they were reduced on the Ego website, so I feel like not many people are really into these. But anyways, I think these are pretty okay. They're comfortable enough. So I think I'm gonna give them like a six out of 10. And now the very last pair of shoes we have is right here. As soon as I saw this pair, I just knew I had to get it because I love pairs of shoes like this. Okay. I think I might have made a mistake. Why did I get these? These are literally as tall as the freaking Eiffel Tower. I don't know why, but they didn't look that tall on the website. I don't know what I was thinking. Look at the size of it. It's so chunky. It's so tall. They are really cute though. What would you guys call this type of shoe? Is it like an Oxford? It kind of looks like a loafer or an Oxford kind of shoe from the front, but obviously with a massive heel. I've been loving the pink aesthetic lately, like Barbie girl, anything. I am down for it but I don't know if I'm gonna get along with these because they're so tall. Okay so these are what the shoes look like on. They are so freaking tall. I cannot get over it but at the same time like I said the sole of these shoes is really what makes the difference because this is very chunky on the sole. So the incline of your foot is really what makes it feel high and I feel like this isn't that bad. Visually though it looks tall but the heel is pretty chunky so it's making it pretty stable and I mean, I don't really mind it. I love the color of this so much. It's kind of like a faux snake or crocodile skin. I'm obsessed with this whole shoe. I have no idea where I would wear this, but 
I really like it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this pair of shoes, whether you like it or dislike it. I have no idea what to do now because I love the way it looks, but will I actually get use out of it? Who knows? All right, guys, so that is everything for today's video. I had so much fun trying out all these new pairs of shoes from Ego. Let me know in the comments below which one of these pairs was your favorite. I feel like my favorite has to be the trousers with the inbuilt shoes. They were just so funky and so unique. Also, let me know if you guys wanted to see a video of me wearing and trying out those like pant boots for a whole day. I would so love to do a video like that. I feel like it'd be quite challenging wearing them all day long. You can't just take them off when you get home because you'd also be taking off your trousers. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen it on my previous upload, which was my Roxy X Revolution launch video, I would love for you guys to click the link right there and check it out. I feel like not many people got that video in their subscription box on YouTube. So I would really love for you guys to check it out and go and support it. I've been working on this collection for like over a year. So it would really mean the world to me. As always, Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.